Vermont could make history as it may elect its first openly transgender lawmaker to the House. Local 22's Jolie Sherman has more on this historic race. With incumbent Rep Diana Gonzalez stepping down, two Democratic candidates are running for her spot as state representative. Both are political newcomers, but nonetheless determined to acknowledge residents' ideas and concerns. For the first time, Vermonters will be able to elect an openly transgender candidate to the House. But Democratic candidate Taylor Small says she doesn't want her campaign to be reduced to her identity. It's hard not to put a lens on the fact that I am a transgender woman doing this run, but I think it is such a small piece of this campaign because the issues go so far beyond that. Small hopes to represent all marginalized communities. Executive director of the Pride Center in Vermont says generally LGBTQ plus Vermonters have not been given political opportunities like these in the past. Seeing more um, trans and LGBTQ plus folks um, running for office, it's a real opportunity for uh, authentic leadership to be informed by lived experience. Jordan Matt, fourth generation Winooski resident, is also running. Though he wasn't available to speak on camera, he provided a statement. I've wanted to do something for the place I grew up in and figured this is the most ideal time for me to run, especially with an incumbent stepping down. Small's candidacy comes after two other transgender candidates announced their campaigns for statewide office this year. It's hard in running a historic campaign and knowing that Vermont hasn't elected an out transgender lawmaker yet. I think it is time, I think we all think it's time that our Vermont legislature is actually representative of the people that we are serving. Both candidates will be on the ballot for the primary election on Tuesday, August 11th. Reporting in Winooski, Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.